The group of scientists and medical doctors who formed the New Guinea Biomed Limited Company clarified that the company was formed to protect their research. Chairman Dr. Bomai Keranga said after discovering the potential COVID-19 drugs, they registered the company to protect its discovery by way of patency to procure drugs and repurpose for COVID-19 treatment and to create database for similar pandemics in the future. Now we have come up with a new strategy, actually quickly come up with what would have otherwise taken three to four years to actually come up with these possible combinations. Or drugs. So, for instance, for a, if, if you want to just scan one drug, it will take you five to six hours or even ten hours because of the because of the large size of the proteins and the drug you try to send into others. We have done that with our own, on our own initiative, with our own resource and funding. We have never got, got anything, any begging from the government. With zero funding, we have done this research. Dr. Arnold Weine from the UPNG Medical Faculty explained that their research database is currently being managed at the chemistry discipline at the University of Papua New Guinea. We've stripped the genes of that virus, COVID virus, and then we target with 30,000 drugs. The FDA um, in America approved ones, and those that are not approved but are used by, you know, maybe traditional Chinese apples and stuff like that, you know. So we screened over, uh, not just yesterday, not just two months ago. Uh, we screened since, since, uh, since when the COVID virus, the coronavirus, the DNA was known. However, opposition leader Belden Nama, again in a press conference this afternoon, brushed aside the scientist's explanation and described the company as a money-making firm for the government. It will not work. It's a scam. It's been used as a means to steal from the people of this country. You need consultation with Papua New Guinea Medical Board. You need consultation with Papua New Guinea Doctors Association. You need consultation with Papua New Guinea Medical Research Institute. And then these authorities, institutions which are already in place, will now take it up with the international authorities like the WHO. Freddie Moe, TV1 News.